On Tuesday, we saw the conviction of seven men in a court in Oxford for the sexual exploitation of children. Slowly but surely, we as a nation are becoming aware of how big a problem this is. We've now had trials in Derby, in Rochdale and in Telford. And also, the Children's Commissioner last year published a report in which she estimated that in a 14-month period, over 2,400 children in England were sexually exploited. It's a massive problem, it's not a blip, it's endemic, it's here to stay and we need to deal with it. From a legal perspective, your duty is to take reasonable steps to protect the children from injury. What is reasonable is by reference to competent practice. As matters evolve and the risks become clearer, you must implement changes to reflect what we're learning from these cases. What's good practice today may turn out to be outdated, bad practice tomorrow. Pressure will be building on all the agencies dealing with children. Social pressure, political pressure and pressure from the courts. We must show that we're listening and we're learning.